All the conventions sitting over here, please. Other tension. We're in the kitchen as well. Just go and talk to her. Super sad. Rock, can you see? Don't don't make the questions too hard, man. Oh, Charlie's here too. Where's your money back? All the conventions in the back, Charlie. <laughs> what would everybody like to know about perspective? Everything. Everything. All you know. Everything you know. That would take about two minutes to learn that. I'll show you how I work. This, does anybody know what this is? No. We don't know. This is dividing right. No, 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 no. That's what it is. No. It's a slate shot. This is this is what I've been using for 40 years. I, I, I had this built 40 years ago. Can it's you a perspective T square. When I couldn't get the see, I, I'm an architect who always made it by my choice, but I had to make a living. And, so uh, I've been using this for about 40 years. This is when you can't get the vanishing point on the board. There's always one. Vanishing point off the board. So this is what I use for some big job. I, I set it up by eye. And I put pins here and they ride along the pins. I'll show you how I do But this is when you can't get the vanish and put it on the board. But nowadays you get you have Xerox copies you can produce the large. So I'll do the do the perspective small and then I'll have Xerox too. Yeah. But once in a while I do use it. These are little gouges I put my next bring it up It looks like the thing, and it looks like a, a, a cross. You can make it longer, and it's perspective. Yeah, Charlie, that. Charlie doesn't use it. Yeah. That. It's that a little, little looks like a cross. Little big plastic perspective thing. Yeah, and I, I have to be. <laughs> 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 Charlie, you're not going to be able to You don't ask Charlie anything. This is, this is your. Uh, <laughs> What I did, I got the book and I Xerox copied some old Victorian houses. Wow. Show how I would do that. Now these were done, these are renderings done in about 1898. Maybe there's straight edge one or two straight. Uh, here's another one. I do a little cover up. I was going to do this. Oh, this, oh, this is a rendering from 1898. Mm -hmm. Everybody see it? Yes. Yeah, that's good. That one's good. So, big fun? It's new, but it doesn't matter really. The guy is long dead. 1898. And he's vanished for a little bit. And his shadows are wrong, many of them. He's got two sources of light. That's right. Oh, yeah. 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 He's got the sun coming from this direction, yes, and he's got the sun hidden there from yeah. this direction. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to write him a letter. Let me know what he said. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll send you a telegram. So, <laughs> this is my... Oh, I don't have to give Walter your message. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> I did a school in Brooklyn recently. This is PS 205. And uh, this is the lamb. Now this is the picture plane that I work on. Everything goes down from there. See? And I transferred this to the board and painted it. I did a watercolor of this. And uh, it was an existing building that they had to change. And you see the trees here. Yeah. I even uh, ejected them. Ejected them. Right down. No. <laughs> see? Yeah. It's like it fits them back there. <laughs> Sit here in the, in the kitchen. So anybody, are you guys around to take a look at it? Yeah, the mirror is upside down. All right. 
He's right, Tommy. You know why? Why? Because you have it facing you. Oh, I forgot yeah, I got a mirror in here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're calling me a hit. Are you Nobody ready? Nobody told me about the mirror. I'm trying to help you. Here. <laughs> Okay, now we're done. Well, I'll tell you another one. This is another one I did for East Memphis. I did this a couple of years ago. This is with the picture plane. I work with the picture plane. It goes this way. You can see how I tested the paints on the paper. This was my preliminary line for It's still upside down. No, it is. No. Well, yeah. yeah, it is. It has to be doorway. It has to be doorway. Now you're learning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what for the mirror. Where are these guys? That's nice. I don't know. And this is the one it turned out to be after I painted. Oh. And this is the laser copy. It was done. It was done. It was done this side. This side. And then I transferred. Trans. Referred uh, to the board with a nine-inch pencil. I scored the board rather than darken the paper. And where the leaves are leaves a little groove in the board, then the paint paint right over it, and the the grooves accept the paint and fill it in. Yeah. And when you're finished, you can. Anybody want to see this? Tommy, that's the line. That line doesn't show up. It's going to be beautiful. No one's looking at it. Look at it. Yeah. When you say you use a bristle brush, what do you mean? For the trees. All I use is a bristle brush for the trees. Yeah. Everything else I need is a sable brush. Yeah, go like that. I need brush. I go like this, the bristle brush. Another conviction. Right? Let's see what those two guys. Let's pass it around so they can see all of the things that come back. All right. Oh, this is another one. That's the one you put in the window. Oh, yeah. If you go in one direction, so we need a one ritual. Yes. So we can pass them over each other. Oh, when we heard they were going to be there, they wouldn't miss it for the world. This is a like a ladder and shadow. This is shadow, but shades and shadow are part of the perspective. I don't know. I there's one that goes off the pictures of this. These are actual exercises. Okay, you can do it Okay. That would be crazy. Just take it. I can pass it. Look at the tree. Look at the tree. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. I don't know much of using the diagonal for chat. Yeah. 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 
Do you want to know anything about that? This is a This is a historic building that was built in Fort and Orchard or something. It's what happens. Paid a couple of million dollars for it. Certain number of lives. Certain number of lives. Where is it? It's just right. Where is it? It's in free quarters. Just north of the railroad. What building is that? This is a Brooklyn Water Works building. Oh, you do it on. Isn't that amazing? It was laid out like those labs. I could have taken the pictures, but it was too high. The railroad. Is that Freeport? Yeah, it's in Freeport, Charlie. Right. <laughs> it's in Brooklyn Waterworks. Brooklyn Waterworks in Freeport. Yes. Hey, Walter, he does flowers. <laughs> okay. Oh, I Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Upside yeah, down? You are going to work the, the normal way, like that. Yeah. As if you are. That can work backwards and forwards yeah. anyway. No, but you see Backward. your way, as if you were working. Yeah, okay. Then you okay. can see it correct. Right. I want that. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. This, that. I cut paper with, I cut mats with. And, and you hit us with. Yeah, I. <laughs> are you satisfied? Yeah. Up. Uh, and this thing. What I do, I try to find the horizon line first, and then the vanishing point, the picture. And what you do, if you take a picture, well, you want to do a watercolor, a tight watercolor, even a, even a loose watercolor. You take your pictures of the building, the complex building, or if you want to do it from a photograph, you sit up there and you dip up the speed up and bust and everything, which I did, and I just didn't like it. But I, I set up the building like this. I am uh, usually in the middle of the building. Everybody knows perspective. There's a one-point perspective, a two-point perspective, and a three-point perspective. Everybody knows what the three points are. No, no you're making it come. Oh. Okay. Two-point perspective, one on the right and one on the left. One point is when you stand right in the middle of the building. You're right in the building. So you just get a level line. Mm -hmm. I think. It's what you do with me. The one was almost one point, and the other one was just another one was just <coughs> built at all. So what I do, I I take a picture of my camera that's building. Uh, I'll enlarge it with a Xerox copier, or uh, not a Xerox copier, a regular copier. Yeah. Oh, regular. Copier. Yeah. So, so I'll put the picture like this on my board, and I'll usually find the middle of these pictures, because sometimes if it's a tall building, it has three points in it, and I take the three points out. Usually buildings over uh, five stories, you get a little three point, but many times you don't. What I do, I take the line in the middle of the building. I set my perspective up, or the picture up, I put a piece of paper over it, and I'll set it up where the really verticals are vertical, okay? Like that. So, this is vertical, so I'm going to have to put a little move here. I'll try to put a piece of paper on it. And, uh, like, there are vanishing points all over the place. Mm -hmm. And this one. So you can see. Huh? 
If it's a tall three building, point, if it's a tall up. building, there's a vertical dimension. Vertical, straight up. Because if you look at the building, you know, say it's eight right. story building, yes. and you draw the lines parallel, right. it looks going to look like this. Yeah. Because it does vanish. It has a vanishing point of its oh, own. So it goes like to a cone. Yes, yes it goes to a cone. When you're looking from the bottom to the empire state, everything's like yeah. this. Yeah. So that's your third. That's all right. So I usually set it up with the, with the straight edge right in the middle. Okay. And we'll put another one in the middle. And uh, then I then I find my I find my horizon line. Mm -hmm. And how I do that, I can find my horizon line by my vanishing point. Now the the left vanishing point goes off to my left here to one point. Yeah. Now this would the vanishing points are on the horizon line. So if I find one vanishing point, I can find the horizon line. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you first find the So what I'll do, let's see, I'll take the ridge of this. I don't know if I can get one more. And I'll, okay. Now that's one, now I need another line. So I'll get, uh, I can use this line, I can use this line. Any lines that are parallel and level, they'll all vanish to the same point. They'll vanish to a point on the horizon line. Yeah. So I'll take another line, maybe a straight line. A straight line, and my vanishing point goes off the floor. We're going to fake it. Yes. Okay? That's my left vanishing point right there. And it's also my horizon line. So what I'll do is just move my trusty T squares right over here and draw a line right out like that. How would you get the other side, though? You're coming to that. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just did it automatically. I thought that yeah, was... Well, no, we got one side, but this side's going to be off the board. Yes, right. It's going to be over here somewhere. Right. Now, this is an opportunity for me to use my... Perspective T squared. Right. Ah. To use that, I'll need two lines. I have one of them. I have the horizon line. So what I'll do, I'll take another line here, I'll take this line right here. And what makes you choose that line? Well, it's the longest line, it's a way, but it's got more, uh, you know, as they come up from the going there's more of an angle to it. So we'll just continue this line out like that. Well, let's see, we'll just put it right here. But I can, it's almost on the board. I can get it on the board. No, that's all right. But I'll use the well, we respect yeah. T-squared. Right. Okay, you understand? Yeah. I have the horizon. Yeah. I have, okay. oh, that's only for horizontal lines that are, that are parallel. These lines have their own perspective. Mm -hmm. okay. A point. Yeah, I was going to say, this, this, this. So what I'll get, I'm going to use this column here. Uh, this is a uh, trial and error method for this one. And I'll just adjust the, adjust the line uh, here, I think. But your dancers are educated. I mean, you've been doing it for all these years, right? I don't have to touch it too much. I'm not trying to flatter you. Yeah. I'm just trying to excuse myself and yeah. make you better. Anyone can do that. I'm going to make you fun. All right. Now I've got to get some push. Give me the moment. Tell me. This is kind of I'm just trying to answer. This is great. This is great. This is great. Okay. I work with push pins. Now, 
I'll put this like this. I hope this isn't the front. No, it's not. Very simple so far. So I'll put the, uh, the just, just the high boy. Then I tighten this. And I'll uh, put um, push it in here. And I'll put one. Yeah. Here. Yeah. You see how it rides on the push pins? But it's not right. So I'll have to move the arm back. Yeah, I like that. Take back my time. Nope. I'm going to do this right. Oh, I see where I'm going to align the horizon line. See? Yeah. But I want to reach this line. No, it's too close. Oh, yeah. uh, really, I, can, I use it for a finer adjustment. I just the arms like this. They used to sell these things in, in the art stores, in the supply stores. I don't see them anywhere else they are. They're almost there. 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 Almost. Move that. 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 Move Sometimes I have to put an addition on a building. Take a picture of the building and work on the plans and develop it. But so I have to, you know, find the, the, uh, the you still need the scale. Oh, I need the scale. Yeah, I got the scale. Okay. Now this lines up here. So when you see this, well, they all line up now. So I can't go up. So when I draw this thing, I just go just like this. I put, put the top at the top there. Mm -hmm. I just go right on down like this. Mm -hmm. I don't have to think about it too much. Oh, I, don't yeah. have to, I don't have to line every line up. And I just That's start from the top oh, and work toward me. And then you're always in perspective. You see? I go from here, right on down to shingles, right on down. Oh, look at that. All the way down. I only have to think, as long as I feel this riding on the pin, you see? Now, part of this, the front of this, is in front of that vanishing point, you see? Yeah. yeah. Even down here, they should. That's right, yes. Okay. And now, the horizon line is flat. Anything on the horizon line, this is the horizon line, is flat, you see? Now, then it gradually becomes more of an angle. Do you go below the horizon line? Oh, sure. This goes right on down. Look. You can. See? Oh, yes, yes. Look at that. All these lines that are parallel will vanish to this point. Point, yes. So you even have these little arches here, the oh, tops of them, see? Yes, look at that. That's great. And the windows, this one, not that one. They, this has its own perspective. Yeah. That's going off way off the ball field, the left field. <laughs> Are you going to show us how you, no, I guess you can't. Turn it around and do it the other way? I don't have to. I got the vanishing point. He has the vanishing point on the right, so you can look forward. You have to have one vanishing point on the board. You do. Okay, I see it now. So you establish that vanishing point because you need two lines to intersect. You see? Now, we have... We have these vanishing points, they're all going here. Yeah. Uh, you see, this vanishing, this has a vanishing point. Yeah. Okay. That pitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that were, if that were uh, level, if it would come down like this level, like this, it would go this vanishing point. Oh, I see. Yeah. But it's an inclined plane, it's still parallel to this, to this part of the building, it's, it's coming up like this, so the vanishing point goes up in, this, in the air. Okay. Does anybody know where it goes? Yes, it goes up till it hits the vertical. 
That's right. It's vertical over here. Yeah. It it where it's oh. Because it's parallel, it will go well it's off the board. Yeah, but you I can draw see it now through the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And there it is, right up there. It goes, it goes it to a point right over here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if this were a, um, atrium, an atrium or some kind of a glass roof, and you could see the, the uh, framework in there, you you show it right through here, yeah. and it goes to that back yeah. yeah. And just goes one like this. Okay? And the same with this. This one goes up to the right. Yes. And this part is nearer yeah. to you, so this part goes up to the right. You know, I, I, I made a mistake here. <laughs> Actually, this doesn't go up there. This goes down here. This. Yes, it goes down under this vanishing point, because this part is nearer to you, this part is far away, farther away. So it, it recedes, it gets thinner as it goes away from you. You see? This one goes up above the It would never be, it would never join on this side, no matter what? This oh, line? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it goes away from you, down and away from you. Down and away from you. So it gets under down. this vanishing point that it's, down. it's over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, this is quite a large uh, line perspective. Yeah, it makes I, I uh, really, no, I, if I can, I will do it. You know, I'm spoiled. I don't use this thing too much anymore. I just have it in a lodge. Yeah. Uh, these machines are making life easier. I'm also right. putting us out of business. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, uh, Charles Ellis, yes? Raise your hand. If you go over that slope of the roof, I've never seen that before. Well, this? Yeah, that. And this? That left-hand slope. This. Why are you coming down to the left-hand? Why do you... No, you're going up to the right vanishing point on this slope. But on the other side. This one's coming down. Right. Yeah. Why? Because why? it's going away. Because it's going, because it's away. going away from you. This okay. part near the ridge here is nearer to you. Right. And then it's going away to the right. Oh, okay. See, this is farther away from you. That's how you can tell. Okay. Because I see people do oh, good. roofs like here's a, here's a, here's a building and a roof, and they have it. This line they paint it parallel, and it's not parallel. Oh. It's vanishing. It's like this. So all parts of that roof are vanishing. You see, up to a point up here. Somewhere. Oh, I see. This is like that. So that's the left vanishing point, this is the right vanishing point. You mean it should be another, uh, oh, a little tilted angle. This is, this is vanishing point, yeah. way up here. And it'll meet with the other line after that's that. That's a meet with this line, yeah, this one. Yeah, this line. And this line goes down. Goes, let's see, the vanishing point is over here. Yeah. So that goes down. This, this one would go down. Yeah. If you can see through that roof, uh, you can see all the rafters going down. Going to that point. Right. Ah, yes, that's very clear. Okay? Now, some You're people say, how do you find the center of this ridge at the gable end? That's that point. I always look at oh, how do you do Well, you have this. You're just going to make a little X in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you bring that up and that's what you do. Oh, oh that's okay. Because that's in perspective. Right. You see? If it were in perspective, it would look square like that. Can you get through? If you had a this one, you know, this like this, you just throw it like this and it comes right up. Not in perspective. It's not receding. This is receding. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. you see more of this area than this area. You see? Yes. 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 Yes
These lines do have a vanishing point, but they're not on these two vanishing points. They have a, because they're not, these aren't parallel. This, Which one again? These ones. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. You know, because the curve line. 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 So that would, all these lines would vanish way the heck out there. These lines vanish to, of course, this point. All the lines, uh -huh. okay. even the chimney here, now the chimney's a little off here. This line is a little yeah. straighter, because you're looking yeah, right at it. Yeah. You see? And this yeah. line should be... Do you mind, be, uh, Tom, moving your head? No, I'm just joking. Okay. I'm just joking. So, are there any questions on this? No, there's not. Everybody got this? Yes. This is a little yes. tricky? Yeah. Yes. He's, he's vanished. And I think people make this mistake. Where this, this is a valley, see? This is a shadow which shouldn't be there. Either that shadow shouldn't be there or this yes, shadow should be there. Because you can't have a shadow if there's no if there's, if there's no light. You can't have a shadow. You gotta have light to have a shadow. But right. You know, I see this is straight here. Yeah. Well, that's a valley. This is, that, this this is, is straight and this is curved. And some people when they do a work for a work and a work for They'll start here with the pitch of the, you know, the little yeah. the room, and the, this will sway them. They'll come over here like this, and all of a sudden, they're coming up like that. Yes, and it isn't And it so. doesn't. It's, the pitch it should be really follows the all the way across like that. Yes. You don't change the pitch. That valley sometimes gets people in trouble, because you have a pitch here, and you have a pitch here. So you have the change in That's the pitch. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. This line is not like that one. That's right. It's it's straight the other way. Like this, and this comes now. Why I is that think right this that that is not the pitch of the roof. No. This is the pitch of the roof. I can tell by that chimney. Yes. Because I think that's a hip. The hip of the roof is when two roofs of equal slope or pitch join. It creates its own long line there. You see. So the shingle won't go into that. Well, they will go into that. They won't follow that. They'll come up like, yeah. like this, you see? Uh -huh. And then they go into that. Oh, in other words, that's probably the hip. It's like this. Mm -hmm. And the shingles, shingles come up to it like that. Yeah. That's the way they do it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm referring to following the slope of the roof. Looking at top, yeah. Looking at top. And this is the crosses of shingles. That's right. And they have to meet. Yeah. That's right here. Yeah. 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 Photographs and, and use it as a tool, not a not a guy, you know, a guide or a tool, and maybe maybe you can learn how to render move trees around and compose the, the building. But with the work from renders, you do you just follow the the uh, renders mistakes, and they don't think. I want them to think. So what you're saying is you just made an honest mistake. We made a lot of honest mistakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you do it on purpose for artistic reasons? Sometimes yes, but not so obvious as that. Because I think it would have been better, better if you not show that shadow there, uh, yeah. you see? And let that thing read, because when you have a change in plane, one or the other should be more Dominant, you want it to read. I illustrate these things with a contrast because I know they're reproduced and they put in the papers and they're reduced in black and white, so they have to have a contrast. Light against dark and dark yeah. against light. And the glass, <laughs> the glass I usually make dark in the bottom, very dark. Because if you're looking in at an angle, partial looking in, a little bit reflecting. And as you go up, the angle changes. You know, here's the side of the building. Here's the windows. You see, and you're over here. 
you're looking into the window, this is pretty dark. Looking up here, this is reflecting sky, blue. Light. Uh, it becomes lighter. lighter yeah. The higher it is, the higher The reflections Ooh. are always a little darker than what's reflecting. Maybe not really, but most of the time. Yeah. They look good, <laughs> Yeah, well, you just got to make them look good. Like uh, last time, I think that in windows, this is called a model, and there's a little reveal like this, you see? And what is it? And it holds the glass. Oh, yes. Like that. Especially the modern building, just like an office <coughs> And you're, let's see, you're looking, you're looking up at this. It's a little reveal here, too. And you're looking up at that. Now, this, uh, uh, this would be a little bit reflected. Anything opposite, any wall opposite the sun, yeah. the other side of the wall is called uh, shade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I render the shade and shadow in the light side. There's three things, light, there's, there's uh, shadow, or well, shade and shadow, you see? And that makes a good contrast. Sometimes, like if it's a dark or a medium material, if you have a medium material and you cast a shadow on it, it gets dark, real dark. Mm -hmm. And if you have that same material, a dark material or medium material, it becomes lighter than sunlight. Mm -hmm. If you notice, if you look at buildings in a bright sunny day, uh, the glass, if you can hardly see in the building. All the lights on, you, Really can see it because you see the lights, but you, in the interior it's just dark and it brights on the day. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, now, with shadows, uh, usually on a shade side of a building, the glass is more reflective. More so than when, in the front side where there's light is hidden on the left side. It's just hidden. Mm -hmm. uh, the glass is more reflective and the shadows are deeper much deeper, you see, because the sun is hitting at an angle. Now, sometimes, when, see, I draw these things so most of the time before they're built, so I have to make up the shadow. Now, I'm using eye gold, but I know about what they look like. But if I have a building, say, like this, okay, and I'm wondering how these shadows are, maybe they're chimney, I draw on the plan, uh, parallel lines like that, yeah. hitting the building. These are where my light lines are coming from down here. Uh -huh. So I know, uh -huh. like this corner, would cast a shadow here. So this would be shadow, this would be shade, this would be light. Yes. So you have a cast shadow. A cast shadow right, right there, cast yeah. yes, by shade. that corner. That's right. If I want that corner up shade. like that. Uh huh. Right. This is the shadow. This is the shade. shade. Sometimes you get a reflection. You see? You can't see what they're doing. Oh, we can't see it. Now we can see it. Well, they can't see it. They can't see it. What's the case? Right now. That's fine. That's all right. Now we can see it. Work here instead of at the top. You can go down. Oh, here you mean? Yes. Oh, down this way. Away from you. Away from me? Can you see it? Move away from you. If you do this case, you got to work in the middle. Move away okay. from you. Towards us. Okay. Move no, I did. I was working here. Can you see it back here? If well, you work in the middle of the board, we'll be able to see all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm going to take this off. On the side. No, take another piece of paper. You want a piece of paper? Show it to me. No, no, I can. I'll use this old paper I got here. It's about 20 years older than this. Or uh, than this. <laughs> okay. So we'll take this floor, and we'll have to do sketches. Can we do this paper? Newspaper paper, huh? Not okay. quite. It's yeah. becoming. It's kind of yellow. It's calicated. Okay, now. Uh, what else? What else do you want to know? Everything. Everything. Yeah, it's, it, this is great. Uh, and now I'm something else. Do you want to make a statement? Do you do projection? Uh, Perspective? Yes. Do you want me to do that? Yes. Real quick, yeah. Real Just quick. real, you can do a simple one. Okay, let me see. See if I got it. Um, so have these, I give these to my students. They're architectural. I don't think I 
I think we have hold my spear. Oh, here's a symbol. This is a block. This is how you would draw these perspectives, line perspectives, how I did these line perspectives on those pigments. You know, I lay a plan. What I do, you want me to get into this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, some people saying that's some fool. Yeah, Charlie's right. starting to fall asleep. Yeah. Don't worry about Charlie. Charlie's uh, a right. good. Sleeping is good. Okay. Yeah, he, he's, he's a fool. 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 He's a they range from 1 to 14. Here. They start with the easiest one, a little box. You yeah. see? These are architectural students, and most of them don't know. Okay, so I'll do this. This is the picture plane. Picture plane. This line going through here. This is the plan of the building. You see? This is the elevation. SP is station point. Station point means that's where I'm standing, right there, looking at this building. Yeah. See? I have to get something else. I have to do that. Picture plane or plan? Picture plane. It's an invisible plane. 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 Because I take everything off. Yeah. See? I'm here looking at this building. I see the front. We call it the front. And I see the side, foreshortened side, because I'm standing here. You see? If I put I'm standing here, put my straight edge on there, uh -huh. and projected this down. Uh -huh. That's my sight line. And projected the other corner down. That's my sight line from that corner. But don't forget, I'm working from the picture plane, which is this plane. I'm working off that plane. Now, it says here, using 330 seconds, they always give you a scale to get work with. The, the plans come in eight scale, quarter scale. And uh, this is good. this is the scale also. I have a scale. I'm doing the scale. I'm just going to eyeball. Well, they give you a scale. If the plans are always going to scale. Okay, so you have to give go work to the scale from the plan that they give you. Yes. Yes. The elevation sometimes they're the larger scale, so you have to take that off and move. Here. No, I'm very big. I know one and one is three. They're infinitely higher. So you're still winning. One and one is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So GL is ground line. This is where this building's sitting. You see, and this is the elevation. When you get plans from a, from an architect builder, they always have the elevation. And you. So what I would do here, I would I would bring these two lines down. This is very simple. Now, this is a simple block again. I would bring this, the height of this thing, over to here. You see? Now that's the same height as this. This, this, we're looking at this end of it. You yeah. see, that's the only thing they give you here. And you can tell that this is in this scale, it's this scale. Yeah. See, they don't go into the too much. Yeah. But now this is an aerial view. If you're looking down. Yeah. Okay. It says uh, using 330 seconds equals one foot. Dash no inches. Locate the horizon line at 25 feet from uh, and draw the perspective. Show off construction line. Everybody following me? Especially those numbers. Anything anything that I Tommy, you gotta make sure you don't know a little slow because this is highly technical. Am I going too fast? No, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody got a thug? I'd be happy to do a thug your life. You do a team. Yeah, well, I should have been doing it for 82 years. I'm speaking a foreign language. If I talk slower, you'll understand. Right. It doesn't work. I will talk slow. I'll talk speak regularly. No, regular. You speak regularly. You're regular. Okay. Here's where I'm, SP, a station point. That's where I'm standing looking at this plan. Yes. Now I'm bringing this over. This is evidently a, um, a bird's eye. It's 25 feet above the elevation. The ground line, this is yes. the ground line. I'm 25 feet up in the air. So, any portion of the building that touches the picture plane will become my true height line. 
Everybody got that? Where I can scale it in the vertical. Oh. You see? So I'll bring that line down. I'll get my. I'll bring that down. Like so, right to the ground. So I can measure that. Now I've already measured it. This is this height at that point. Yeah. You see? Everybody got that? Yeah. Any point from the building that touches me, you can you can uh, scale it. Now I have to establish my uh, my vanishing points. So how do yeah, I do well that? The vanishing points are from my station point again. Or from where you're standing. From where I'm standing. Uh, or I will just draw a line like that, parallel to the building, it's going away to the right. The building, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I draw a line parallel to that. Okay. okay. Got and where it intersects the picture plane, that's the right vanishing point. Everybody see it? Yes, yes, right. yes, yes, very good. And the no, other I one move. takes the other. And then again, I draw another line angle. parallel to the, to the picture plane. That's my going to be my vanishing point. Two vanishing points. Right. Okay? And it's parallel to the other So, the, uh, I'm a, now I have to find my horizon line. Don't forget, this is only the picture plane. I work off that line, that plane. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I bring it uh, 25, using like, on 25 feet of well, where we'll uh, guess it. 25 feet. This is, uh, is going to be my horizon line. 25 feet from the ground line. See? That's my horizon. Now, I want these vanishing points on the horizon. So what I'll do, I'll just get projected to the picture plane. Don't forget, I'm working off well the picture plane. Yeah. I'll bring these down. Right vanishing point, yeah. right? Left vanishing point. Oh. If that's a vanishing point, that's a vanishing point. You have to write backwards. Okay, now we can start to construct the block or building. I got the corner. I got the corner in perspective. That's that. I brought the, the elevation, the height over to the two height line. This is where I measure my elevations, the heights on this one line. Yeah. You see, because it's a perspective, it's going, it's vanishing. So you have to. There's only one place in that perspective that you can vanish, or you can scale it. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll go to my right vanishing point from the, from the, from the ground, uh -huh. the corner, and bring it up like that, and the same with the other, like that. And how do I know where to stop? Where this line has intersected the picture plane. I'm working off the picture plane. Right. So oh, yeah. what I do is just bring this down. Then I have the right vanishing point. Don't forget, there's a roof to this thing. It's parallel to the bottom. Yeah. So uh, from that corner, because I have the height of the corner, I'll just bring it over there. Now, this is the front. It's this in perspective. And the side comes like this, and we'll stop here where the line, construction line, and this is just eyeball, it's not scale. So I have this side yeah. and this side, which I see. Yeah. Now, how do I get the other line, the other side? There are two ways to do it. You can project that point down here, uh -huh. or you can just you can just uh, go to the vanishing point. Right? Yeah. Just bring this to to the vanishing point like that, and the left vanishing point, since it's going away from it, it's receding. There. So this is the block in perspective. Wow. You see? From Any questions? Any questions?
and they get harder and harder. That's you. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, that you. Don't give your side vanishing points also go down this one. Uh, 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 but you're not supposed to be the stick This is the number one. Ah. We're, we're not okay, supposed okay. to make it too difficult. You know, it could vanish way down here. Yes, somewhere. So okay. You know too much. Yeah. You start with the rest no, of the show off. You are in the wrong class. Show off. Okay. You are in the wrong class. I don't know if you want to do another one of these. No, it's very good. Very clear. Very clear? Yes. Yeah. Now, what else do you want to know? How about uh, like um, uh, shadows on the ground? Yes. Yeah. Shadows. Now, if I have know. like a flagpole, can you see a flagpole here, a flagpole here, right? Mm -hmm. The sun's coming from this direction up here. Uh -huh. Now, I'm doing a, just a plan. The light lines are parallel. They're so far away from the sun, they're almost parallel. But in perspective, they're not. In other words, in the plan, the light lines are shadow. We call the shadow. This is the shadow. That's the shadow of that oh. hole. Yeah. Right? This should be the same length as that. Yes. And they're parallel. If I had them. Uh, huh. But in perspective, they're not. Now, if, I'm not going to draw them. I'm just going to draw them with perspective. This is not this is not flagpole, that's you know, where the flagpole is here. In perspective. Now, we'll call the radio. This is the horizon line. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, the vanishing point, you can make any vanishing point. We'll make the vanishing point here. Okay. And this is a shadow. No, this is the, this is a shadow. Okay. This is that shadow. Okay. And the other one goes to the same place. See, it's in perspective. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, that's you, important. Yeah, yes. There you are. Shadows. Can't find trees. Yes, Everything. And I get it. Yeah. screw up all the time. That's why. Like people screw up on uh, circles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's why. Ah. I make it smaller and it's not hard. Give my little trusty. Yeah. We'll draw something. I'm going to come above. Now, this is a round object, oh, cylinder. Yeah, like now, mm -hmm. it's going to say we have, have joints in it. Okay, yeah. Or yeah, seams yeah. of following the circle. Um, uh, I know it's almost flat on the bottom. No, no. It's, it's, in, the it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Right, right. here. This is the horizon. Yeah, that's right. You see? Mm -hmm. So we'll just do something here. Okay. We'll use this to encompass the side of it, right? But when we look at a circular object in perspective, right? you see there's a little line through the middle of it. It's a long axis line of the ellipse. Right. See? We keep that horizontal. That's how we see circles become ellipses in perspective. It's hard. It's not like this. It's not like that. And I eyeball it. And there's also a center line going down this thing. Right there. So what I do, I line that up. With the center. Look what you do. And you, you, you don't take it like that, you don't take it like that. You see in photographs, the interiors, the lights, and the ceiling, the long axis of the light is like that on this side and this side. If your center of interest is in the middle, because it's distorted, right? because you have a vertical vanishing uh, point. But I, and we see them horizontal, a horizontal ellipse. So I always keep the long axis of the ellipse horizontal. And I put it in like this and draw half of the ellipse, you see? 
Yes. And down the same distance, suppose this is the horizon line is right in the middle there. If I took the distance down here, it'll be the same. Thing. It'll be the same. Okay. Which one are you using? The first one. The first one. You use the first one. So that's that ellipse. Yes. Yes. The ellipses yes. below the horizon line are like dishes, and the ones above are this one, and they progressively. Uh, get flattened and they go and they, until they get to the horizon line and they're just straight one straight line. line. Mm -hmm. Everybody got that? Yes. Yeah. How about an arch? An arch? Okay. An arch? Yeah. Uh, an arch. And if you have, suppose well, a number of arches, you have, there is an arch, yeah. you have an arch like, this is the spring line of the arch, you have, like that, and of course, that the top of that arch goes to that dimension point, right? Uh -huh. yeah. okay. Now, the center of that arch is there, and that would be in here, in the middle of that yeah, the lips. Yeah. Um, they, um, now, the arches, every one would be different. For one thing, they're all receding. In other words, we go from a, a flat one like that to maybe one of these way in the distance. Yeah, that's right. And they will all, all the ellipses will be different. They will tip. I think of this as an automobile wheel, see, with the axle. You see in some of these old renderings with carriages, all the wind, all of, all the Wheels are like this with the long, long axis of the wheel vertical. And that's incorrect. And it looks something, you look at it, it's something's wrong, you know? And it should be tipped. Now this, we say this is an axle, and it's going and still full of fish. See, that arch, I drew it like I would look at it from an elevation, flat elevation. And the long axis, let's see, we'll start with the large one here. I go through the... I'm down to the middle of your page. Uh, you can't see it. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll start over here. They're tricky. A lot of people have trouble with arches. Especially when you have to get a pair of new shoes. <laughs> That's a joke, everybody. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break, right? Take a break, good. 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what's going on you before you start? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no attention to me. I can't see you back there. I'm going to put my glasses on. Right. Yes, you can record it. See if you can give you an answer for a little girl. What's that? Just a plate. Huh? Just a plate. Do you get a question you're asking in the back? Right. Okay. Yes, Tom. Yes. Go ahead. You start making your own paint. And you, if you're making a house, how do you find the strength of that house? Very good question. Yeah. Going to make your own bond, your own... Am I going to... From your own to, memory. Oh, from my own memory? Yes. Yeah. Should I do one? Yes, please. Yeah. 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 Here's what I would do. Yes, now, you find usually, it? you don't put a horizon line in the middle, right? No. You don't, no. We can't put it up here, you put it down here. If it's up here, it's usually a bird's eye. We're looking down, you know. But down here, I can always put more... I, I use a... If I'm going to do it on a... a I put the uh, horizon on first, and I just very lightly at the beginning of my painting. Ah, okay. And then, where am I going to put this? I put a vanishing point here, and I put one here. Okay. Now I want the building nearer one of this vanishing point and this vanishing point. I put it nearer this vanishing point. Okay. That'll be more foreshortened. So I'll just draw some vertical lines. It's going to be fair sketch. It's going to be a bar. Where's, where's the bar building? Yeah, the Charlie, the barn. Barn. Oh, but you draw a barn anyway. All right, look. Tell me you don't live in a barn, Tom. I mean, you put the center point in the middle. Why do you want to? What do you mean the center point of the barn? Of what? Of this here? The vertical in the middle. Well, I wanted to have the side foreshortened. That's one. And what's the longer vanishing point? Well, you got that prerogative to do that. To right? put this yeah. in the middle? Then yeah. I go up the board. No. This way I go up the board. 
Well, I'm going to crop mine. I always paint more than what I use. I crop it. Uh, I always tell my students, work big, keep working, don't until the end of the paper. Then you can crop it. It's easier to do that to go back, oh, I need more, and then paint some more. So, so you want me to draw? Yes. Okay, okay. here's one vanishing point. Yes, please. Okay. I'll, I'll use a string. I can shake it. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, what do you think? Okay. okay, and then I go to this fashion point. Right? Yes. Okay. So that's I got the bottom of the bar. Yeah. Now if we have a or a house, I'll make a house. Um, I'll look first we'll have a doorway right here. We'll make this horizon line six foot horizon line. And so to get scale here. Doors are usually six foot eight. Mm -hmm, yeah. So it'll be a little above the horizon line. So that I'm establishing scale line. already. Mm -hmm. So that is six foot eight right there. This is six foot. I'll have a I'll have a little guy with his head on top. And there's this is Charlie. It's you and you. It's Charlie. It's just like it's you. Well, I'm just gonna, came out the bank. Put a hat on. Charlie and his Charlie. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay, he's looking at this one, contemplating. Painting it. Painting it, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to have a little shadow. It's going to vanish. Charlie, you got to pose like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go like this. <laughs> Yeah, you visit the door right? and then your your roof goes where? Uh, the roof? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> now okay. that you have a six the overhang. We have an overhang here. Okay. How tall is the barn according to the door? I don't know. How tall is the barn, Charlie? <laughs> okay. We'll make it a little higher. Look. Now, if this is six foot. This is 12 foot. Okay. Is that okay for the height of a bond? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. okay. More than that. Let's say I could do this free hand, but pass it this way. Yeah. And then uh, we have a little overhang, which is going to that vanishing point. Okay. Yeah. And uh, there's a little fascia, a little board on there. Maybe about that arm. Okay, well that's too good. Let me make that change. <coughs> that goes to the vanishing point. All right. Now, the height of this, we'll call that. This is the this is the uh, the gable end. Mm -hmm. And with the ridge of the roof will come down here. Um, this is the vanishing point, right? Mm -hmm. If I brought that vertical up there. And I've established a picture of the roof, I'll just draw this line to where it intersects the vertical over the left vanishing point. Okay? And then there's a little overhang, so it projects out like that. Then that's the pitch, you see. They are parallel but not in perspective. They vanish. Good point. Everybody no wonder you're telling me that my barn is crooked. <laughs> <laughs> and then? <laughs> no. Right. Yes, now, my where does this end? <coughs> you see, it has to end in the center here. But in perspective, it's not in the center. See? No. And so what I would do was uh, very lightly, so no one would see. I just put a little line in. And cross diagonal. Right really cross, right cross diagonal. <laughs> And then a vertical up here. Is that, that short? Is that short? Tom? Is that short? Yeah. Yeah. This is the picture. Look at over here. That's not so. That's how it is. Yeah, but look how it's short. It's for short. Yeah, I understand that, but it, it seems like it's. Oh, that. Oh, you didn't do that. That one. That's it. Okay. And maybe the little. Oh, then. Wait, 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 wait here. 
And uh, of course, then when you put the shingles on the roof, uh -huh. the ridge being further away, the courses are narrowing again. You see? And it's coming out towards you. And the shingles will be foreshortened. Yes. They won't be wide. So again, uh, and if they're kind of irregular shingles, uh, I'll get nervous. Right? Oh, I see you tremble your hands. <laughs> and then move it down again. Now you have a pin in here. Right? I just guide it straight as you get the pin. I'm talking as a, a render now. You have to go in the floor again. And if you got the pin there, you don't have to be sliding it down. down. What's that? You have a pin on board. Yeah, I don't know. Really. I'll <laughs> just line it up here. And it then it becomes bigger and bigger. And, and a little, very subtle. Yeah. So it's subtle. Yes. You have a nickel for every line you do, Tom? A nickel? I'm trying to get a dime. <laughs> <laughs> but these days are rough. High price. High price. All my clients think I'm high price. Uh, I'm not. So you're charging a dime instead of a nickel. Yeah. I have to call up a fellow tomorrow. I might have a job. He said, I already, my client, his client, and he says he's concerned with how much it's going to cost. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's my roof. Yeah. Of course, sometimes you're vertical boards and I turn this around like this. <laughs> and I, oh, and I can do, it, I can do this, you know. I see, yeah. I put it on here. I just go right across. See, that's cheating. Don't tell me. This is a tight thing. Yeah. Well, I could make it a little bit loose, you know. I do it, and these are little, but little boards. They would get narrower as they went As they different. went to work for me, they get so narrower. Narrow, right. right. But I would also sometimes just eliminate them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get the feeling. You don't have to draw so any board in it. Yeah, yeah, you right. can draw a few board. boards and the eye puts the board yeah. in. Yeah. You see? That's some people put every board in. <laughs> uh, no. Yes? What do you render that open? Let's make believe this is a, a house with a porch coming on. Okay. And there are, say, for that size, so maybe six columns. Columns are making it tough for me. Small columns. Oh, one Where's the porch going to come from? Yeah, yeah, a shed porch coming off right above the doorway. Okay. Ah, well, I'm going to come off. Don't try to think. I like it. I like oh, it. Well, thank you, Charlie. Okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. indicate the porch is coming off well, here. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. And so we'll put a vertical up to here, and we'll put another vertical up to here. Ah, gotcha. And then we'll put this up right there. No. Move. Oh, I put it on here. You put it on the wrong uh, yeah, okay. end. Yeah. That's, well, that's all right. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. A little bit. Yeah, maybe. It's very little. Maybe. Now, this, this is going to be a pitched roof. I don't I could come out this far, but I already have a line there. We'll, we'll do that, make that line. And then, see here. Oh, you want some, you want some columns, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like, like a porch overhang column. Okay. Then the porch, <coughs> come up a little higher here. And then, see. I want to show you how you draw the columns in perspective. In perspective? Okay. Now, we'll have a different pitch here in this roof here. Now you can come up to here. And the fish will come out this way. A little different fish. Uh -huh. okay. There's no vanishing point there. Yeah, there is. This oh, is that's the vanishing point. vanishing point. It's on here. Yeah. You see? No. You change the pitch. So the Why bottom, is it there uh, and not? Not here? Because the pitch is different. It was like this, and now it's straightened out like this. It's flat. And if I, got, porch. if I got flat. It's a different building part. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. If I if I lower that pitch to flat, it would come to the to the, the left okay. vanishing okay. point. He's and I th this is yeah, the I left vanishing that. point, Scott. And then I'm coming up. I like wondered this. why he got the vanishing so point going that way. Because it's pitch is coming up. It's is a little it bit like, like this, angle. and it pitches up like that. It's not the same part of the. And you know how? You know well, that's, yeah, that's, that's a choice. That's a choice. Yeah, it, is. it gives you the liberty to do it. Why don't you see it? Okay. 
Will. And then this goes to the left arm. Right arm point, yeah. Okay. So okay. now Charlie wants some, some columns. columns. Well, you'll call this a column. And he want, Charlie would like me to put these in perspective to scale, okay? This, the size of these, this is kind of a blunt point. Uh -huh. Oh, I see what he wants. Uh -huh. He wants some well, columns in perspective. Yeah. You can put two columns, they're going to be out of scale. In perspective. Columns or vertical, as they go away from it, come closer together. Right? right? right. Now, how do I get that? I don't I, know how. how you don't know? eyeball it. You can't eyeball it, but. So I'll put a, I'll make my own little grid. Here, put a vertical here. And I'll put a vertical here. Yeah, I'm going right. to look at the right. Yes. Okay? Now I know how I'm going to Now we're going, this is going to the right vanishing point. The whole thing yeah, in front. Yes. Right, right. Okay? So, you'll draw a, a grid in perspective. Here, yeah, any, could be any thing. Um, I need a scale or something. What? Uh, uh, something to measure with. Anybody got a measure? Oh, my. It's, it's hiding here. You should have a measure. Okay. Okay, what I'll do is break one of these verticals up into equal spaces. If there are four columns, there'll be a one, two, there'll be one, one, two, three, four. Four equal spaces? No. Five equal spaces. Five, one more. One, one more, let go. One more. Okay, okay. Five. Well, well, we can do anything here. Well, one column, two columns, three columns. Four columns, right? Equally spaced. You yes. see them? Yeah. Brought the vertical up, equally yes. spaced. Right. So I'll draw those to the right vanishing point. I'm making a grid in perspective. Yeah. <coughs> and here, there's the grid. These are my columns. Yeah. Now what I do from one corner. In the other corner, I draw a vertical uh, uh, diagonal. Yeah. And where it intersects those lines, they're my columns. Oh, oh you just got one. Yes. Yeah. And I draw the line straight down. Straight down. <laughs> so that's my column. Yeah. That's my column. Oh, oh that boy. That's my column. And that's my column. And then the roof. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Now they're supposedly in perspective. This is. Too small, but these move around here. That's the idea of it, you know. Nothing. That's good. That's good. Well, that's right, Thomas. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Charles. <laughs> okay. And and then we have a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. A shadow. Sun's coming. Always know where the light's coming from. Yeah, yeah. Upper right, usually comes from up in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> right, John? Yeah. All right. right Sun's right. coming from yeah. this way. All yeah. light lines are more a parallel. Remember that. Except when I hit something and it becomes a perspective. So, okay, light's coming from this direction. This is an overhang here. There's a shadow for the overhang. We got a little shadow. I have to explain that overhang as well. See, this is so heavy. So I keep my. This is going to be my shadow. That's, <coughs> this is my shadow. Right. Yeah. Till I get to here. Now this is going to be some shingles for the ladder. This is too fat. Yes, you know what I'm doing. Yeah, you know yes. what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't put the floor. The floor. So, the shadow's coming from this point, not the lower point. Where it intersects the roof. Depends what angle you want. You make it just eyes open. Yeah. It'll come down here. Into the corner, and then we'll come down, 
one horizontal, that would be my shadow. Oh, the horizontal on a vertical surface is horizontal. Horizontal on a vertical yeah, surface yeah, is horizontal. horizontal. Yeah. Okay. A vertical on a vertical surface is vertical. Right. So those. So this is my shadow. Of course, it goes into you know into, the into the It's open. You know, I can put a little window. There. The same height as the, the, uh, the door. The door. And, okay. yeah. and then. This is the shadow we go right across here. Okay. Then you have a little shadow from from that column. Right. Now see, it'd probably be open here. That loop would probably just come across here and it'd be open here. And a little shadow from the port. This is considered shade. Because it's it's opposite oh, the, yeah, sun. Side of the sun. You see? It's a little bit lighter than the shadow. That's the way I look. Uh, and then this little corner with the column would meet at the ground. You see? That would be... Now all these little shadows cast by that, those columns, this is the vanishing point here. It's out further. They would have... The shadow has its own vanishing point. And also, you see? So this is... This is the vanishing point for those shadows. So I just put it on here, move it up a little bit, here, and, and here. And here is what So the shadow. You see, it's been pierced by this, and the bottom here, the bottom of here on the other side that you don't see, that shadow is being cast down like that. Yeah. You see? Now, uh, then you maybe have a little window up here. There's the window. And then this would be, the shadow does not go around the corner. No, of course not. <laughs> no. Some people don't go around shade. the corner. No, so you have a shade. So this is all. Change. Change. Okay. And lighter as you go down. So the shade is lighter than the cast shadow. I make it that way. Okay. Sometimes it's not that way. You have to differentiate it. Yes. If you have one plane meeting another plane, well, always make, okay. make one going than the other. Sometimes, if you have a right angle here, this is the front of the building, this is the, the side of the building, right? Yes. If the sun comes like this direction, in reality, you see, it's hitting this, it's this yeah, and equally. Yeah, equally right. So they both have an equal value. Uh, right. right. So it, it, even though it, it, it's in reality, you want to make this or this darker. So you even if the sun hits Uh-huh. See the shadow? Yeah. This is casting that shadow. All right, so go with gray. 
It's, and not much, not as yes, much it's not important. That side of that building is not important. So I just foreshortened it and darkened it. But, but same with here. This is the shadow being cast by this? Yeah, it's still dark. Make it a little wider. I don't want it a little wider. I want it to read. To read. I want to contrast. The corners, you want to contrast when you have a change in plane, even if the sun's hitting both surfaces. You want it to read the corners. And what I do. Uh, dark in the corner, inside, and as you go back, you like it, you like it, you fade it. Yeah, fade yeah. away. Yeah. 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 So it's, here's the feeling of receiving. Yes. yes. And then we're going to have some dark trees in black, so the building will read against the black. And you get the depth. And you get the depth. Yeah. Get the feeling. Yes. Yes. This is the black that right here. Yes. That's the thing. That's it. That's the shadow. You can't have a shadow without light. Yes. And it's right there. Okay? At that that's that's beautiful. Yeah. That's and then you see that even in the shadow, there is light. It in reflects sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's in the shadows, sometimes on the light surface, a light back here, yes. getting the reflection of the underside of it. That's right. You know, the strongest part of that shadow is out here. Yeah. yeah. There's all a little bit of subtleties. Shades and shadows, yeah. which gives depth strings. to the object. Thank you, pardon? Depth to the object. This is depth to the object. You can go out. You see? You play light against dark, and then it's like shades, shadows are very important. You know, I'm technical here, but when you paint a picture, you. Yes, it's a kind of handy. But you can now do this. You can say, now we're going to create the other. Never. Never. What? I, uh, the, 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 the subtle, the difference is. I see so many mistakes in the home because they didn't do that. And it didn't. Well, it don't become a painter or artist for two weeks or a month or three. I'm still there. It's going to be a lifetime. Right? You know, right now, I, I can see what was bothering me. Something's wrong. Well, I hope that it's a culture. Some of it's very technical. But it's important to find it, even if you do very loose rendering, that you know the horizon line. And, you know, it's just. Here, if I put if I put um, shrubs under here, I make them real dark. In the front, I would light them up a little bit, just on one side. And also now, this has a shadow. This vertical comes to this point here. You know, that vanishing point out yeah, here. I'm going by this. This vertical, this vertical, has the same shadow. Now the sun is hitting this too, but it hits this projection, so that would come this way, going to the right vanishing point, and it hits parallel, going to the right close to this vanishing point. See? So there's a little, that would be down here, this corner, this girl yeah, stops yeah, right here, right. we'll see it stops here. Then it comes, comes out again like that, and this has a shadow, it can come like that. And then it would hit the back of the building and still go to that vanishing point. Maybe like this. Now this is what it is. Okay. Oh, and that would be the shadow. This would be the shadow. Not the shade, shadow. Shadow, yes. No, the cat. The cat shadow. The cat shadow. Where the floor. You see? Yeah, I would have put it on the horizon line. Not see, those are the things that are going to now. Yeah, now, this is probably too much. It's probably yeah, it's too much. Yeah, it's too much, but you know, this is still. Yeah. Now, who else likes any other questions? Anybody would like to know anything else on this? What game show? Everybody. That's a lot. Two objects that align differently to each other. Okay. Align? You mean a different height? Or? No, say they're at the same height. Well, okay. Say you have like uh, two people laying down on the beach and they're just you know, what are they doing? pointing in different directions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But to make it simple for people, if well, they're just two rectangles. Right. Two rectangles. Two rectangles. Right. And they're not parallel. Right. Okay. Um, you're I'm going to figure out how the vanishing points relate to each other for two different objects. They don't. You have two, you have four vanishing points. Right, so four vanishing points. Four vanishing points. Oh, you can set two of them, right? 
Establish a vanishing point over here. This one maybe will be over here, okay? Yeah. That's the vanishing point. Up here. Now this is quite, uh, it's, it's really out of cone of vision. It's a cone of vision. If you get too close, the image becomes distorted. Yeah. So you have to get farther. Not too close. But we've got it across a little exaggerated. So that now the center of this, so we'll put the clock, we'll put it down here for, yeah. right there to be the center of the clock. We're going to draw a line from that middle of that clock where the hands come on like that. Right? To, to this line should Um, my ellipse, it's not going to be a vertical ellipse. Some people would draw that with a vertical ellipse on the face of that yeah, like that. Like that. With a long axis of that ellipse in the center. It's not. It would tip this way. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get this one. When I follow this, you see how I'm tipping that ellipse? Yeah, to the side. To the right. It's running right through the middle of all these other ellipses. Yeah. Following that line. Think of it as an axle of the Right. Right. So, this would be the clock. Ah, oh, yeah. You see? Oh, yeah. Rather than, yeah. than yeah. the vertical. Yeah, rather than the road. Some people would whack off. It's a little, a little different, just rather than this.